Meredith and welcome to my channel. If you're new here, I'm so excited that you found me. And if you're returning, I'm so grateful you've decided to come back and watch more. I love all things luxury. I love luxury shoes. I love luxury handbags, luxury lifestyle and vlogging. And if they're things that appeal to you, I hope you'll do me a massive favor and hit that subscribe button down below. Hitting that subscribe button costs you absolutely nothing and means so much to me. So I hope you'll help me out. We have a bit of a collective haul today. So I've got a few bits and pieces from different houses that I've bought that have been sitting here waiting to be unboxed. And I thought I'll just put them together and unbox them together. It makes perfect sense. <laughs> so let's have a look at what I have bought. Now, I was very clear, very clear in my wish list vi uh, video that I was going to have a low buy year for shoes. Well, I didn't actually say that, but I said I wanted to make a concerted effort to not buy a lot of shoes this year. <laughs> Oh, that's funny, Meredith. Funny, funny, funny. Um, so yeah, I have, I've, I, yeah, I, that has not worked out. Essentially, that has not worked out for me so far. I have a pair of shoes to unbox for you now, and then there are more sitting over there. Um, and I've already unboxed a few, and there's been some that I've even bought that I haven't unboxed for you guys that I've just worn. So uh, yeah, that's uh, that's that's going well for me this year. That's going well for me. So let's look at the, the pair that I bought. They're in this massive, massive box. And this is from the brand Mew Mew. Mew Mew. Mew Mew. I can never quite say it correctly, but I believe it's Mew Mew. Um, a brand that I do not own a lot from. I own one other thing from this brand, and it is a pair of shoes also. It's a pair of boots. And I love them. I adore those boots. I am hanging for winter so I can wear my boots this winter. And uh, yeah, in the uh, same vein, uh, you might notice the size of the box lends itself to boots also. Hmm, let's unbox them. <laughs> so I picked these up in Sydney, my very first pair of Mew Mew boots, um, and I'll link the unboxing down below in case you missed it. I had to have those sent out from the UK. My beautiful sales associate, Lily, who used to work at Fendi a long time ago, moved to the UK and she has helped me out with a few brands that she's worked with. She's moved out of the luxury space now. Still a good friend, but love you, Lily. Um, and she helped me source the first, uh, the pair of shoes that I bought last time, which was a pair of motorcycle boots in black. Um, I couldn't get them here in Australia. She sent them out to me from the UK. They are now stocking into Australia. As I was walking past the store not that long ago, I noticed these. So in I toddle and they got them in for me because they didn't have them in store in my size. <sighs> they are so beautiful. <laughs> and it is so me. <laughs> So, I bought the exact same pair of boots that I bought before in brown. <laughs> so, I have the black pair in these. These are the, the only other thing I own from Miu Miu is these pair of shoes in black. And I now have them in brown as well because brown is also a staple and I love this brown. It is a dark brown. It is a distressed brown. It is fabulous and I adore these boots. The things I love about these boots are all the details down the side, all the different buckles. And then the fact that they fit really well around your calf. They are not crazy tight on your calf. Um, some boots are a very tight fit and these are really comfortable. I love the heel on these. They're there, but not huge in any way. And I love the soles that they are uh, really cushy, but also have great grip on them. Everything you want in a boot. The distressed finish on these makes them fabulous. Like you can see it all there. They are all a distressed finish. They are amazing. I love that I have them in brown and in black. I believe I'm going to get a lot of wear out of these in winter. They're going to be my go-to boot. I own lots of different boots. I am crazy for shoes, but especially boots. Um, and my favorite boots are my RM Williams ones that I've had custom made that I've had for years and years and years. And my favorite, favorite pair are my RM Williams kangaroo boots which are super soft super worn in but they are and very very similar in color to this but they are trashed because i wore them um many years ago to the us when i was traveling around there and i wore them to mardi gras in new orleans 
at the same time that they won the Super Bowl. And oh my goodness, the party in New Orleans went during Super Bowl and Mardi Gras. Best time ever. My boots got absolutely trash. So I have been looking for a pair in a similar color um, that I can start to phase out my poor kangaroo boots, which are hanging in there, but they don't look the best anymore. They're a little bit too trash to wear when you're going out. You need a slightly elevated look. So super happy to have these ones. The details on these are crazy. Um, they're so good. They're super comfortable. I already have the black, so I know all about them. And I just love the color. So I believe this color is called Sienna. Let's have a look. Let's see if they put it on the end for me. So these are the Kalzat, Kalzatur Donna. Don't even know if that's even a little bit correct. In the color Brucchiato. <laughs> How about I just show you the end of the box in case anybody wants any of that information. They can screenshot it, go to Miu Miu and know what they're looking for. So that's all the information I have. In terms of cost, these are not cheap by any stretch of the imagination, but they will last years and years and years. Um, and I think that they're, because they're motorcycle boots, they really are quite timeless. Like they're never going to go out of style. You can always get away with them. They were $3,600. So yes, no, not cheap, not cheap. But for a good pair of boots that will last a really long time, well worth the investment. My RM Williams ones have done, oh my goodness, like 16 years with me. And they weren't as expensive as these, I will say. They were custom made um, and they've held up really well and they've gotten a lot of wear. So I feel like these will also get a lot of wear. So I love my new boots. Um, and that is all the colors they do. So you will not find me unboxing lots more of these boots because they only do black and brown and that is it. What other color would I like, Meredith? Hmm. Maybe a gray? A gray would be cool, I feel. Although I'm not sure if I can work with it in my wardrobe. I don't know. Black and brown, clearly very standard colors in, um, in shoes. But yes, so... I've also just unboxed my Roger Vivier boots, um, Ranger boots. So yeah, so much for that shoe thing that, that I was going for. Yeah, that hasn't worked out. All right, let's move on to Fendi. <laughs> Moving on, we'll just blow right past that. Fendi, so I have two little bags from Fendi. This one was a gift um, that they sent me and that hasn't long arrived. Uh, and you'll know why when I open it, if I can open it. Um, there we go. So it comes in this box and, oh, hello. They gave me a dust bag. <laughs> Fendi are always great with giving dust bags. I have so many Fendi dust bags and I feel like this might be a shoe dust bag that they have given me, but Fendi on it. And then they were kind enough to send me the Chinese New Year envelopes. Now, if you followed me for a while, you know, yes, I'm not Chinese, but I do collect these. I love um, any time that there's a limited thing. I have a whole wall of stuff that you see that you can't see. It's just out of um, shot. But if you've watched my bag room tour, you've seen it like stuff that I've collected that I keep. I don't get rid of any of it. I don't on sell it. I don't give it away. It's all mine. I am an emotional hoarder and this is part of that hoarding. Um, I'm not a hoarder. I'm an emotional hoarder, very different things, but these were the Chinese new year. Now, if you know Fendi, you know, they've just had a Pokemon collaboration. They've done the dragon whose name I do not know. Um, and he, she was on everything um, and they did bags, but they're clearly playing to that for Chinese New Year. So these are the envelopes that they gave out for Chinese New Year, which have the Pokemon on them, which makes them super collectible. I know lots of people love Pokemon. I am not a big Pokemon person, though my son most certainly knows Pokemon and talks to me about stuff and I go, yep cool you you do you i'm happy that you know so much about it don't ask me to participate because i know nothing so he will certainly love these 
but how cool are they? I love that they've played into the Pokemon thing, lined it up with the Year of the Dragon, and then they've run with that for Chinese New Year. So thank you to Fendi for continuing my um, red envelope collection. I've got a beautiful red box up there from last year, I want to say. Um, and I think there's another packet just there. So yes, I have quite a few of these from Fendi now, and I am very grateful. So that was the gift that they sent me. And then I also have something that I bought. Now, this has been sitting here for so long, it has the Christmas packaging on it. So this was what they gave at Christmas time. Um, I feel like it didn't. I didn't get it before Christmas. I got it in January, but they were still giving these out. I have a whole collection of these little stars now, and they will go on my... Um, Christmas tree that I put up every year when I do collection miss this year. Um, so I will certainly keep that. Now I am blaming, yes, blaming Gwenny from Style by Gwenny for this. <laughs> she loves Fendi, loves Fendi. So Gwenny, uh, Han from uh, So Much Designed by Han, there, Claire from um, Claire Louise Lux. They're all massive Fendi fans, massive, massive Fendi fans. So anytime I watch any of their channels, I'm just like, oh, new Fendi thing. Thanks, guys. Thanks for sharing. If I'm not getting it from Dale, I'm getting it from them. So I will link all their channels down below in case you too love Fendi. Um, and you can go follow all those lovely ladies from the UK who love Fendi, as well as always Dale, because Dale is always most of the time linked in my description box down below and she is most certainly our Fendi queen but I am blaming this one on Gwenny from Style by Gwenny because she talked about this and put a picture up and I was like hello I didn't know that existed and off I toddled and I uh, messaged my sales associate who went yeah I sent you a picture of this ages ago and I'm like mm, I don't remember that I don't have any recollection of that Aaron so uh, yeah can you send me another picture and then tell me if you have it which he did and he did so then I bought it and he sent it out. <laughs> so it's in this box and wrapped up nicely in the tissue paper. Only little. So it looks like this. And, oh, hello, my little friend. <laughs> we have the Fendi First in mink. This is a mink, so it is an exotic. And it's in this purple color. So it's not lilac. It's definitely got pink undertones, but it is most certainly a purple. And I know that um, Gwenny had loved this, but when she saw it in store, it was more purple than pink. She thought it was going to be more pink. I love it. I think it's so cute. Um, I would have loved a full Fendi first in this color, but it is very close to my lilac fox one. But it is so cute and I love the Fendi First. The Fendi First is my favorite bag from Fendi. Um, if anyone is interested in product details, there they are there. Um, but it is so cute. It has the lobster claw on it in case you want to um, attach it to something. It also has a little wristlet in case you want to, you know, zhuzh up your outfit by wearing it on your wrist as an accessory. And then it does function. So you can open it and you can probably, I'm not sure if you'll be able to see, it does say Fendi there on the inside, but it does function in terms of it opens. Look, maybe my patience some days, but yeah, there might even be too much room for that. Um, <laughs> maybe some Panadol or Nurofen, um, Tic Tac. Not much. It isn't fitting much. It is essentially just a teeny tiny little accessory and I love it. I love it even though it's so tiny and so useless, but how cute and beautiful is that? I love the color. So thanks Gwenny for putting it out there that you were hunting this because as soon as your picture went up, I went and hunted it and got one of my own. I really appreciate it. <laughs> influenced. Hashtag influenced. <laughs> <laughs> That's what we do around here. We all influence each other. So that is um, my teeny tiny little purchase from Fendi right there. 
So that's my collective kind of bits and pieces. I have lots of unboxings coming from specific houses, but every now and again, I'll have little things that I just need to pull together and this kind of worked this way. So I love my new acquisitions. I can't wait to get my boots out this winter and style them. If you're interested in how I style things, go over to Instagram. If I'm going out and I admit that I don't post an outfit of the day every day, most days I look homeless because I don't have to dress for work. I don't have to dress for any particular purpose. But if I'm going out and I'm putting some effort into it and I'm drawing from my ready to wear or my shoes and most certainly my handbags then I will post an outfit of the day over on Instagram so make sure you are following me over there if you want to see how I style all these things when I finally get around to styling them and I don't generally buy for a specific purpose like oh this will absolutely work this way I kind of walk in and go right I'm going to put together an outfit around this and I'm going to draw from these pieces so I tend to just have things and then make them work in my wardrobe I'm not somebody who buys with don't often buy with a specific purpose in mind sometimes I do I will admit that sometimes I'm like I want this outfit and this is how I want it to look so I'll go buy those particular pieces but a lot of the times I just know what I will gravitate towards or what will work in my wardrobe and then I'll pull the outfit together um, that way I generally start with clothes and then I build from there so what do I want to wear that day and then what shoes and what bag and any other accessories that I need that will go with that. So I don't build around a pair of shoes or around a handbag. I build around the clothes first and foremost. That's just in case anyone is interested. A few people have asked me in the past, how do I pull things together when I have such a vast collection? I always start with the clothes first. If you've liked today's video, please give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button down below. It means a lot to a content creator when you hit that subscribe button. Please also hit the little bell notification so you know when I've uploaded videos, which is usually twice a week and sometimes I'll throw in a third. I'll also throw up my Instagram handle for you so you can follow me over there. I put lots up in real time, lots around my collection and my day-to-day -day life. So please come follow me over there. I hope wherever you are in the world today, you are having a fabulous day and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye guys.